Good morning everyone. I welcome you all to the next video of class 11th accountancy. We have started with the third chapter that is accounting principles and this is the second part that we are going to continue in this video. Today we are going to move ahead with the concepts which I have already been explaining you. So we are starting with cost concept or historical cost concept. So what is that? According to this concept, an asset is ordinarily recorded in the books of accounts at the price at which it was acquired. This cost becomes the basis of all subsequent accounting for the assets. Since the acquisition cost relates to the past, it is referred to as historical cost. This cost is the basis of evaluation or valuation of the assets in the financial statements. For example, if a business entity purchase a building of rupees 20 lakhs, it would be recorded in the books at this figure only. Subsequent increase or decrease in the market value of the building would not be recorded in the books of accounts. If two years later, the market value of the building shoots up to 60 lakh also, the increased value will not be ordinarily recorded in the books of accounts. That is why it is known as the historical cost concept. Now, however, the cost concept or historical cost concept does not mean that assets will be continuously shown at their acquisition price for, a long, for as long as the business entity owns them. Their cost is systematically reduced from year to year by charging depreciation on it. And the assets are shown in the balance sheet at cost less the depreciation. Okay. So, the justification for historical cost concept lies in the following arguments. They have given some arguments relating to it. First, this cost is objectively very favorable because the cost recorded in the books is derived from an actual transaction and it is not arbitrary determined. Then it is justified by the going concern concept which assumes that the enterprise will continue its activities indefinitely and thus there is no need of using the current values or liquidation values. We have already uh, studied going concern concept so that is also involved in it. Then market values or current values of assets are difficult to be determined. The valuation by one expert will not be same by the another experts. That's why they are giving you the justification for historical concept. Then market value of asset may change from time to time at, and it is extremely difficult to keep a track of up and down of the market price and make the changes accordingly in the accounts. The drawbacks, there are some drawbacks of historical cost concept that is the assets for which nothing is paid will not be recorded. Thus a favorable location, brand name and reputation of the business, knowledge and technological skill built inside the enterprise will remain unrecorded though these are valuable assets. Then second, during periods of inflation, the figure of net profit disclosed by profit and loss account will be seriously distorted because depreciation based on historical cost will be charged against revenues at current prices. Then later on they are saying information based upon historical cost may not be useful to management, investors or creditors also. Okay. So now we move ahead to the next one that is dual aspect concept. What is dual aspect concept? According to this concept, every business transaction is recorded as having a dual aspect. In other words, every transaction affects at least two accounts. If one account is debited, another account must be credited. The system of recording transaction based on this principle is called double entry system. It is because of this concept that the two sides of the balance sheet are always equal and the following transactions or accounting equations will always hold good at any point of time. Assets is equal to liabilities plus capital or capital is equal to assets minus liabilities. 
whenever a transaction is to be recorded it has to be recorded in two or more accounts to balance the equation okay if a transaction affects that is increase or decrease the one side of the equation it will also affect or decrease or increase the other side of the equation equation remains balanced whenever a transaction take place for example x commences business with 20 lakhs in cash and takes a loan of 5 lakhs from the bank and these 25 lakhs are being used in buying some assets say plant and machinery so equation will be assets are of 25 lakhs so liability is 5 lakhs that is loan and capital that was introduced by x was 20 lakhs so 20 plus 5 25 so assets and liabilities will become equal then we move ahead to revenue recognition concept or revenue realization concept Revenue means the amount which is added to the capital as a result of business operations. Revenue is earned by sale of goods or by providing a service. Concept of revenue recognition determines the time or the particular time in which the revenue is realized. Revenue is deemed to be realized when the title or the ownership of the goods have been transferred to the purchaser and when he has legally become liable to pay the amount. It should be remembered that revenue recognition is not related with the receipt of cash. For example, if a firm gets an order of goods on 1st January and supply the goods on 20th January and receives the cash on 1st April, the revenue will be deemed to have been earned on 20th January as the ownership of goods was transferred on that day. Revenue in case of income such as rent, interest, commission is recognized on on a time basis for example rent of the month of the march 2015 okay even if received in april will be treated as a revenue of the financial year ending 31st march 2015 similarly if commission for the april is received in advance in march it will be treated as revenue of the financial year commencing on april 2015 so there are few exceptions also relating to this in case of sales on installment basis, the amount collected in installment is treated as realized. In case of long-term construction project, it will be difficult to postpone the revenue till the completion of the full contract. In such cases, the proportionate part of the revenue, which is equal to the part of contract completed by the end of the year is recognized as revenue. Okay, now we move on to the next one that is matching concept. What is matching concept? This concept is very important for correct determination of net profit. Okay. According to this concept, in determining the net profit from business operation, all costs which are applicable to revenue of the period should be charged against that revenue. Accordingly, for matching cost with revenue, first revenue should be recognized and then cost incurred for generating that revenue should be recognized. Following points must be considered while matching cost with the revenue. What should be done? When an item of revenue is included in the profit and loss account, all expenses incurred on it, whether paid or not, should be shown as expenses in the profit and loss account. On the basis of this principle, outstanding expenses, though not paid in cash, are shown in profit and loss account. Then, when some expenses say insurance premiums paid partly for the next year also the part relating to the next year will be shown as an expense only next year and not this year this means that the part of the insurance premium against which benefits will be derived or revenue will be earned in future should be shown in the balance sheet as an asset and the rest is treated as expense during the current year then cost of the goods remaining unsold at the end of the year together with the expenses incurred on it must be carried forward to the next year as these goods will be sold only during the next period as a result the closing stock is carried over to the next period as opening stock also okay similarly incomes receivable must be added in revenue and income received in advance must be deducted from revenue so these are the concepts that i have explained you today you are going to prepare the notes regarding these now in the next video we are going to continue with the next topic. Up till then, goodbye children.